Hello students, in my last video about your introduction to trigonometry, uh, we have done some problem related to your trigonometric ratio. In that problem, I have teach you how to find out the sixth trigonometric ratio. Now today, in today's video, uh, I have taken one question where one trigonometric ratio is given and you have to find out the other five trigonometric ratio. So I have taken one problem from your MBOS textbook that is exercise 80 question number 3. Question number 3, the first one. Question number 3, the first one. Let me just go through the question what they have said. Find the value of all other trigonometric ratio. They have asked you what? All other trigonometric ratio. And one of the ratio is given. What is one of the ratio? Sin theta is given to be 8 by 17. Sin theta is already given. So you have to find out the rest 5 trigonometric ratio. So let us see how to do this problem. So solution here your sin theta is given to be how much? 8 by 17. Now you already know the trigonometric ratio of sin theta. So we know that we know that what is sin theta? Sin theta is p by h. We have already discussed in the last video and all. So what is your sin theta? It is p by h. So when you compare, when you compare this and this, your perpendicular is how much? Your perpendicular is 8 and your hypotenuse is 70. So your perpendicular is what? Your perpendicular is 8 and your hypotenuse is 70. Now in order to find out other 5 trigonometric ratio, we need the base. We need the base. So how to find out your base? You already know your perpendicular, you know your hypotenuse. How to find out your base? So I have already told you whenever you go to your trigonometry, there is a right angle triangle. So you consider one right angle triangle. You consider one right angle triangle. So this will be the hypotenuse. You can make it theta here. So this will be the base. And this will be the perpendicular. So you know what is hypotenuse and perpendicular. And you have to find out the base first. So how to calculate the base? So what you know is that whenever you have a right angle triangle, you can use your Pythagoras theorem. So what was your Pythagoras theorem? You have already done in class 9. So what was your Pythagoras theorem? Let me just recall it to you. What was your Pythagoras theorem? h square is equal to p square plus b square. So this is the formula of your Pythagoras theorem. So I will be using this formula in order to calculate my base. So let me do it here. We know that we know that in right triangle We know that in right triangle, what do you know? We know that in right triangle, we can use our Pythagoras theorem. So, by using Pythagoras theorem, by using Pythagoras, theorem, by using Pythagoras theorem, what you are going to get? You will get h square is equal to b square plus b square. So I have written the formula h square is equal to b square plus b square. Now next what we'll be doing is that we'll be substituting the value okay. We'll be substituting the value of p and h and we'll do the calculation and find out what is p. So let us see this implies what is your h? h is 17 so it will become 17 square is equal to how much? It is equal to a square plus b square. So what is 17 square? 17 square is how much? 289. 289 is equal to 64 plus b square. You can bring the 64 this side towards the left hand side. So how much you are going to get? 289 minus 64 is equal to 
b square 289 minus 64 is equal to b square. So let's see next. This implies you do subtraction. When you do subtraction, how much you will get? You subtract 289 minus 64. You will get 225 is equal to b square. So what is your b? Your b is equal to root over 225. So that is equal to how much? That is equal to 50. So that means you got your base as 50. Let me just note it down. Your base is how much? Your base is 50. Your perpendicular is how much? Your perpendicular is 8. Your perpendicular is 8. And your hypotenuse is how much? It is 70. Your hypotenuse is 70. So now we'll try to write it down the other five trigonometric ratio. So let us see. We'll try to write down the other five trigonometric ratio now. Hence the other five ratio ah. So sine theta is already given. So you will be writing your cos theta. Cos theta then tan theta, cot theta, sec theta and finally your cosec theta. So you kindly write down your trigonometric ratio of cos theta. Cos theta is b by h. What is tan theta? b by b. What is cot theta? b by b. What is sec theta? h by b. Your sec theta is h by b. And finally, what is your cos sec theta? It is h by b. So let us see how much you are going to get. So, what will be your cos theta? B by H. What is your B? B is 15. So, you will be getting 15 by 17. I hope so. It is okay for you. B is 15. H is 17. So, you got 15 by 17. The next 10 theta. B by B. What is B? 8. 8 by 15. You will be getting 8 by 15. Then, cot theta. Cot theta is the reciprocal of 10. So, it will become 15 by 8. Then sec theta is the reciprocal of cos. So it will become how much? 17 by 15. And finally, this cosec theta is the reciprocal of sine theta. Sine theta is already given in the quotient, 8 by 17. So your cosec theta will become 17 by 8. So this is the required answer. So I have done question number one. Similarly, if you can look in your textbook, uh, 11 questions are given related to this. So you can try exactly in the same manner. Thank you.